Hello everyone, Steve K here. I'm just mocking up the Track Boss number one for the second time here. Uh, as you know, we initially dynoed it with a uh, set of A3 heads on. That combination made 781 at 6900. This time I went to the Blue Thunder 3.60 head. We heavily, uh, heavily uh, ported these heads. They uh, float about 404 at uh, 800 lift and uh, substantial gain and flow over the old A3. The A3 we tried to take out a little more and we ended up going through into the water jacket. So we're just in the process of fixing those up. As you can see here, I got an inch pound wrench set up on the crank. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's set between 110 and 115. And uh, that's about what it takes to turn this engine over. It uh, turns over real easy. And uh, pretty impressed with the light ring package. You can see the Australian muscle parts timing belt system there. Another unique thing we did was uh, take this 92 or uh, actually a 95 SC1 Glidden intake. And uh, I had my son that works at AccuThread in Red Deer. They cut it and I had Pierre Guillon from Dino Plus in Calgary re weld it. And we fit it to this set of Blue Thunderheads. And uh, I had a guy by the name of Jeff Oslin port it. And as you can see in there, it's pretty straight shot in. Also using the cam research camshaft 781 lift that was initially with a 1.8 rocker but since then I've changed over to a Crower 1.73 and also I use cam research lifter roller lifters. These blue thunder heads fit nice they got lots of material in them we had to oblong the push rod holes a bit for the bigger push rods. No big deal. Spent about a half hour, hour on the heads doing all that. And uh, yeah, it's a Track Boss Lone Wolf block, we call it, because it's the only one that has the individualized lifter bores like this. The rest, we changed the form, went to a solid block. So, very nice product. So I'm just fitting everything up, getting it ready to go. Here's some of the other stuff over here. This is the tunnel ram system we'll be used. I bought this uh, intake and carbs from a guy in uh, Ontario. He hand built it and uh, seemed to do the job really well. Here's some of the other stuff we're using. Of course, the cam research cam. Here's the 1.73 Crower rockers that I'm using. There's the cam research lifters. I'm using Cometic 45 thou gaskets because we had to go to the 4155 bore. So they custom made me a set. And uh, I used the total seal rings on the Racetech custom pistons. And uh, that's the ring pack we used. Also a unique thing we used is uh, the Romac all aluminum balancer. I got a little scale here, I'll show you guys this. Just flip that on. Take this balancer, put it on. There's the weight, 3.12 pounds, super light. Also, I used all King bearings, mains and rods. We've had good luck with those before. Tim Meyer put me onto those. So that's what I'm using. Hello everyone, Steve K here again. Just thought I'd show you this bottom end of this track boss block. As you can see the 
splayed main caps and the Molnar rotating assembly in there. If you look closely, you see how the sleeve drops down and uh, we notched it there for the rod bolts to clear. And that, what that gives us is, uh, you can see this rod is uh, basically right at the bottom and your uh, piston pretty much comes flush to the bottom of the sleeve, which is a nice feature. Anyhow, I just thought I'd show you that part of it. Beefy bottom end should hold up to a lot of horsepower, I'm thinking. Here's some of the screw-in frost plugs we did also. Oh yeah, here's another thing too I wanted to show you. I don't know how good you can see down in there, but if you notice that Molnar rod and crankshaft aligns that pretty much dead center on the wrist pin. I know a lot of guys said that's no big deal, but uh, I think Tom Molnar's done independent studies where they have seen horsepower gains with that. So if you're needing a rotating assembly, why not buy one that fits exactly? Anyhow, I thought I'd show you that. Uh, I'd also like to thank drag boss Tim, Tim Halstead. He's been setting these videos up, does an excellent job. As you can see, I'm a bit of a rookie at it. And uh, shout out to Tim Meyer, Jeff Oslin, uh, my son Logan, he did a lot of the fab work, and uh, Pierre Guion at uh, Dino Plus. I'll have a lot more guys on the list once we get this thing up and running, but Here's just some of the info for you. All right, thanks again, bye.